I didn't know I didn't know anything about that story with the, for that all the Polish fighters that came basically won us the Battle of Britain. Um, didn't know anything about it. Wasn't taught about it in school. I think even in Poland they weren't recognised for it until the 90s when it came to the collapse of the Soviet Union. So um, yeah, that's why the film's great. I think it's because it's getting that story out there. Same exact answer. No, <laughs> no, uh, no. We didn't learn it in school back in America. Um, so when I read the script, I, it was like an amazing story, and I was like, I would love to be a part of this. And you know, it's an amazing story that no one knows about. Uh, I thought I knew <clears throat> quite a lot about the Second World War and the Battle of Britain, and uh, this was throwing a completely new light on on matters, and 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 that's what I I, I felt. Also, there was a kind of slight injustice going on. You know, the fact that um, we did know so little about these guys who'd, who'd made a huge a huge contribution uh, to, the, to, to winning the battle. So uh, um, that, that, that initially was what attracted me in trying to get that story out there, because I, I think it's important, especially since it, it, it lay in dormant for so long. I mean, even in Poland itself, I don't think it was fully recognized until the late mid 90s, you know? So, so it was important to me to try to get that story out there for that reason. Like, there's all sorts of nations that came together to help fight that war, and there's a lot of Polish, there's like a really strong Polish community in Britain at the moment today, you know, so it's, yeah, working really hard. <laughs> so it's like really important that they're recognised as well, I think. It's, it's, it's a big, uh, they, they are, not, I guess, what would you would call national heroes, you know, uh, and um, that is hugely important to them and, and, and uh, culturally very important to them and I think you know it's, it's, it's a, you know it's a story now that I believe is taught in schools and so on so it's hugely important uh, these guys I, th I think I think uh, you know especially considering the, the length of time it took their contribution to be recognized you know and, and uh, I think that makes it all the more sort of st st stronger for them the figures that they released out to the public were not the figures that were actually happening like we were losing very steeply at that time and I think as a woman who was sort of had an independence which no other woman had had at that point and knowing what was actually going on with the war and probably thinking they were going to be invaded any day to, like soon and that was going to be the end of her life potentially I think she was just coming from a place of why should I have to conform and why shouldn't I just live my life and do what I want to do and live these potential last few weeks or days in a way that I want to, and why should I be ashamed for that? Um, which is quite a modern way of looking at things, I think, and I think it's, yeah, I really respect that in her, actually. You know, there was a definite resistance from men in some way to women having these job roles and sort of having power in a way and control. Um, and not, and I did a lot of research with an amazing, sort of like in her 80s, <laughs> waff lady who used to actually be a plotter in World War II, who was, she was amazing, just incredible woman. And she said that actually, on the whole, they had quite a lot of respect from the male officers, but that there were like the odd man in power who just didn't accept that a woman wasn't in the kitchen anymore. And, you know, she was competent. There's all these amazing stories as well of, women who um, actually flew the planes, like if the planes were being made and then they need to be flown to a base and they didn't have any spare pilots to do that, then women would fly them. You know, there were all these incredible, yeah, there were all actually, these amazing. I learned that today. Did actually, you? from somebody, yeah, who Spitfires. Yeah. From a guy doing an interview downstairs. <laughs> the yeah, he told me, so, no, but it's amazing, like, you know, bringing up a story like this, it brings up other stories that are true that no one yeah. would ever hear of. So. Hearing that was is like an amazing thing that you know that women did that no one ever talked about. No one ever talks about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes, Mona. <laughs> <laughs> I got my word in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was honored because uh, you know 303 was Polish squadron, and there was one Czech, one Czech pilot, and uh, uh, I had the I had the honor to 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 play him. I knew, I, I knew his character because he's quite well known in, 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 in Czech Republic because he was an ace, he was a fighter ace. And, uh, he was the top man, wasn't he, in the, in the squadron, actually? I mean, he, he, yeah, yeah, he, I think he, he was he the was, most successful, yeah, he was. successful guy yeah, in 303, yeah. which, is, which is kind of a uh, nice paradox. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and he's, he's, he's quite famous among, among uh, Czech, Czech uh, fighter pilots from, from Second World War. <sighs> 
Yeah. And incredibly enigmatic as well, you know, I mean, I, I gather it eventually. I mean, we, we, we've alluded to it in the film where he goes off, just goes off on his own. Uh, and apparently, um, eventually, they just accepted that that's what he would do. Yeah. So basically, there was a squadron almost plus him. So, so they all went up in 12, and, and, and Frantisek, he just went and did his thing and come back again. So it's a really beautiful little story in itself, you know? You know, growing up, I, I always was fascinated by World War I, World War II, or basically any war. I don't know why I was, it just, I always took a fascination to it. I liked to learn everything about it, why it happened, how it happened, what they were doing there, you know, all that type of stuff. So that definitely brought me to this script as well. Yeah, he was an interesting guy. There is a lot on him. Um, you know, at first he, he wasn't very, very stoked to be, you know, teaching the 303 Squadron. Um, and then I think he, you know, came to, you know, respect them and love them and, and you know, be a part of the, you know, the group. You speak, do you speak Polish? Uh, no, not really. No, okay. Well, that's good, because neither do I. <laughs> and, um, no, it, well, it, it, you know, obviously it was a quite a challenge for me anyway, because I don't speak it at all. Uh, although, I, I mean, I'd worked there many years ago. But, um, but it's strangely enough, I mean, I keep saying that kind of acting to an extent is a, is a kind of universal language uh, and, and there's something that connects before you speak anyway. And, and uh, so the, the spirit of, um, of what was there was important uh, as much as what was being said. And, uh, you know, I had a very good relationship with the director of photography who was Polish. And, and we had a little kind of shorthand that, that um, he would tell me if something wasn't quite right privately. Uh, and and we'd, 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 we'd tackle it in a different way. But it, it wasn't, I, 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 you know, I thought it would be a big issue before I started. I thought it'd be a real problem, but it, but it wasn't really, you know, because I think that, uh, you know, if you're looking at something and you're feeling something, that, that, that's as important uh, as hearing it. And so we made certain adjustments throughout it, of course, but, um, but, it, but it wasn't a big chore to, to, to do it. It's not an easy language at all. Um, it's a lot, of, a lot of using your tongue and a lot of like words I, that, you know, being American, you don't use a lot. So mm. it was definitely not easy, but it was fun. You know, like everybody's seen war films before, everybody's seen films about the Battle of Britain before, and this, the important thing, I think, is, is, is this little bit of truth and reality that, that um, it, it, I think is important. I think, um, you know, we, we, we've tried to make a film that, that has a, a, broader, a broad appeal. You know, it's not just about that event, but, but hopefully there, there will be, uh, you know, the, the process will be enjoyed, but there'll be a, a, a little bit of education going on there too. I want them to know, just have an appreciation for what these amazing men did for us, really. That's it. And yeah, because the story's not out there, it hasn't really been told. And I think it's an important time in Britain for people to appreciate that as well. Um, so that's what I want people to take away from it. And the feeling of displacement, really. There was so much displacement of all sorts of communities and people all over Europe after the war. And how hard that must have been for them to settle back in. I definitely think it's an amazing story that needs to be told because it was forgotten or it was meant not to be told. Um, and I think that, you know, these guys from Poland and, and it wasn't just the Polish, it was, you know, people from, you know, Czech, it was, you know, yeah. from everywhere in the world that aren't, but weren't told about it, you know, or weren't recognized for it. And I think that's time that they are recognized for it. And like we said before, telling this type of story is going to bring up other stories that people have never heard of. So I think it's just a very important time for that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!